tell me that you love me even if it's fake cuz i don't fucking care Hey, what is up, you guys? This is Nacho here, and welcome back to the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about something very, very important, and I know you guys are very interested. So, you guys know I'm normally not really a super hype beast or a hype man when it comes to new stuff in Call of Duty, meaning like when the new games come out, I'm really not one of the people to be talking about it before the game comes out. I like to actually play the game before my own opinions, but I've been at getting, been getting asked literally every stream and probably on most of my videos at this point what do I think about World War 2 and the creative class system being removed so for those of you that, that have been living under a rock pretty much uh, Activision has announced that cr the creative class system will be no more now they're replacing this in World War 2 with a system called divisions now when you look at divisions uh, or you look at what they actually sound like because Charlie Intel did an article about what the classes are gonna be or you know the different divisions is what they're calling it now and there seems to be five different class setups and the way it's set up it seems like Call of Duty is trying to kind of go like a battlefield route now I I'm gonna be very upfront and very honest guys, it, Call of Duty removing the custom class could be very very disastrous. Now you guys know me, I'm not really one to sugarcoat stuff and I tell you guys honestly what I think about the opinion of what they're doing to the game. Um, Activision, I think, is forgetting what initially made their game very, very successful. You know, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, when they introduced the creative class and you had the simplistic killstreak system of the UAV, the airstrike, and the helicopter, that is what made that game wildly successful. You know, people wanted to go onto the game and be able to create their own class setup, you know, feel like an individual and feel rewarded when they're getting their kills. You know, there's just something about creating your own class, being successful with it, that makes you very happy you know especially me if I find a custom class that works and you know I'm just destroying everybody melting everybody I feel like the sauce boss bros like I feel so happy I feel nice I, you know I feel I feel like it's cheddar time boys I mean y'all already know but in all seriousness guys this could be a huge disaster or a huge win now it's still way too early to be able to tell exactly how this is gonna play out but they did announce or Charlie Intel basically found out there's gonna be five divisions now the five different divisions are airborne mountain infantry armored and expeditionary force now this is the titles that they've given them thus far they might change before release because we we are still a couple of months away from world war ii guys we still got at least like five more months so these names could change but the airborne one the description of it is that the first to the fight where you move fast and stay quiet the mountain one is focusing on precise and deadly sharpshooting infantry be the tip of the spear armored bringing the heaviest fire firepower expeditionary force packing heat with incendiary shells now honestly guys reading that sounds so similar to like the battlefield one created class you know I see mountain focusing on precise and deadly sharpshooting I see the marksman class from uh, battlefield one you know I see the airborne class the first of the fight where you move fast and stay quiet I see that as like the assault class where you basically rock a submachine gun the armored class basically being something you know where maybe you have extra health or like an light machine gun but maybe you walk a lot slower on the map you know all this stuff sounds super similar to Battlefield 1 man I don't know exactly how it's going to work in the Call of Duty series man I'm really hoping they do not find a way to mess this up I mean they kind of already have by removing creative class if creative class is completely removed you know who knows there might be these five divisions right and then within the divisions you might be able to customize your class setup basically like how Battlefield 1 is but maybe to a more extreme because Battlefield 1 is very limited in your custom class but you know that's to be expected because it's an old school shooter it's a world war one shooter so you could kind of expect the same thing with this call of duty game you know if we go back in time and look at call of duty world at war and compare it potentially to what we could be seeing in world war ii if you look at the attachments in that game the perks set up in that game everything was super super basic the most used attachment on most guns if not all i remember was like extended mags or a grip very very basic very straightforward you know there wasn't no rifle barrel there was no hollow points there wasn't this or that who knows man they might make it interesting and make it so that each uh you know division has specific custom class abilities or traits that only that class could get which you know would still make for a very interesting game and would still make for a very fun game in my opinion as long as each division doesn't have some absurd ability that outclasses the other ones um <clears throat> synaptic um you know it could be a very very good thing <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
But honestly, you guys, I'm really excited to see how this is going to play out. I don't want to say it's going to be a huge flop, but honestly, guys, I am a little bit worried. Creative class is what made Call of Duty wildly successful, in my opinion, when it when it started. Because for those of you that haven't been playing Call of Duty that long, I know there's a lot of you guys that are new to the franchise or have just started playing in the past couple years. I've been playing Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, the original. I've been playing since I was like 12 years old, and at this point, I'm 21, so I've been playing Call of Duty for like eight or nine years at this point and the first three Call of Duties meaning Call of Duty 1 to Call of Duty 3 had no creative class and those games were pretty much bunk those games pretty much sucked nobody really liked them then Call of Duty 4 came out with the hype you know you had the creative class you had the kill streaks the easy kill streaks that most people could earn if they just tried I just hope they don't get too cocky and try to be too fancy and try to turn Call of Duty into something that it's not. I'm really hoping they try to cater to, you know, basically the COD community they still have left, guys, because I'm going to be honest with you guys. If you take a look at, like, this year and, the pa and like, the past, like, two, three years, Call of Duty has been on the decline. There have been a lot of people who have given up on the series, and with the announcement of World War II, a lot of people are going to flock back to the game. A lot of old school people who haven't played the recent Call of Duties involved the jetpacks you know meaning from advanced warfare up until what we have now with infinite warfare this is going to be interesting to them you know people are going to hear about world war ii and they're going to want to come back to the series right well what's going to happen if the people who gave up on call of duty decide to give it one more chance with world war ii they load up the game and they realize it's like battlefield one or it's not anything that they've come to know from previous call of duties at that point i feel like you would completely lose those fans who are basically on the brink of just abandoning in the series i really hope they find a way to keep the community happy or i really hope they find a way to still incorporate you know uniqueness within the divisions or you know aka classes because that at the end of the day is what is enjoyable to a lot of people in the community being able to create a class whether it's a try hard class whether it's a trolling class whether it's a fuck around class that's what's the fun part about call of duty having the ability to mix and match organize and create whatever you so do desire that is one of the most fun elements and i really hope they do not find a way to mess it up guys you know it's still too early like i said to really say too much about this but like i said man it sounds like they're trying to go a battlefield one route it might end up biting them in the ass or it might end up working tremendously depending on how they do it now like i said man i really hope they have create a class still in some shape or form if they don't i'll be pretty sad and i think a lot of other call of duty people would be sad let me know in the comments section below what you guys think about the divisions from what you guys know about it do you guys think this is a good idea do you guys think this is a bad idea but i thought i should make this video because you guys i know are dying to hear my thoughts because every stream and every couple videos you guys comment on it about or asking me about it if i heard about it so i figured i'd finally cave in and make a video about world war ii if you guys like these kind of videos be sure to let me know so that way when more world war ii news comes out i can start making more content on that for you guys but as always my name is papa nacho i thank you guys so much for watching the video let me know in the comments section below what you guys think about this because man i am super super interested or intrigued in what other cod people think about this switch as always my name is papa nacho longest outro in the world thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out nacho nation <laughs>